Okay, guys, what you see right there, jackknifing, that's a house on a trailer. Uh, another tow company was out here with the fixed boom wrecker and successfully performed a winch out when they bottomed out, but they need the big iron for what comes next. So this driver wants to put that rear end. I'll show you why they need the rotator. Man, and we're in Los Angeles, Echo Park. You wanna laugh, this house is probably gonna be worth like a million dollars. But anyways, they're gonna jackknife that trailer the other way into here. All the way down there where that big old crane is waiting. More humor. That crane right there, you guys think rotators are expensive? I just found out that crane is $2,000 an hour. Collecting a sweet check on standby time because of this uh, issue. It's one thing about Los Angeles is you gotta account for tiny streets, especially Echo Park. This is a very steep driveway. And you know what? I'm sorry, I misspoke. She's gonna back up into that street and then come head in so once the uh, she bottoms out right here the rear end of the trailer is going to get stuck here that's where Holt comes in I just lift up the back take off that tension and let her coast the brakes until she gets uh, to the crane look at all this equipment for cranes That was a very tight squeeze right here, man. If you guys aren't familiar with Echo Park, very close to here is where they filmed uh, a lot of the first Fast and the Furious. I got a YouTube channel. I was just gonna say I knew it, you on YouTube, huh? Yeah, I got a pretty pop. I'm about to hit 100,000 subscribers, man. Uh, so they're having uh, a bit of difficulty. I'll talk to the crane guys right now and have to give them uh, the links to my YouTube channel. By the way, if you're watching this, I should be at 100,000 already because it takes me a couple of weeks to do each video since how busy I am. But this part is where they're struggling with because of this, this sign right here. I have half a mind to just bend it towards me, give them that extra two feet they need. But yeah, keep in mind, we're at $2,000 an hour just for that crane. Huge money, man. And if you see all that equipment back there, those trailers, that's all for the crane. That's one thing where, I mean, as similar as they might look in theory, the rotator and the crane are so vastly different from the structure to, to, to just everything. For example, with my truck, as you guys know, I just pull up to a scene and in five minutes, my outriggers are out, the booms up off the side, and I'm ready to rig. A true heavy crane like that requires a whole crew. You need to put on the counterweight, set everything up. Ooh, not bad. Doing good. Doing good. This is an extended trailer. I bet this is every bit of uh, 53 feet minimum. Jackknifing it like that is very difficult because the curb's high on the other side and she's already hitting the stacks. See the trees move? You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, she did it. Uh, they got enough people here spotting. What I'm gonna do is go to my truck and already start putting out my outriggers and PCO. Almost there! Huh? Almost there! 
Ah, oh, stressful, man. I've been there. Especially when all eyes are on you. Uh-oh. Now I gotta move my truck back. Uh, cannot make that turn. So I think she's gonna come a lot further out. And yes, I know my windows are dirty. sense of how tiny these streets are man so much stuff happens in Los Angeles on these streets that are non-truck routes construction and deliveries and whatnot and then this stuff happens How? Looks like they're doing fine. You know, I'm probably going to suggest coming in first and going head in. That way I could swing them over. Let, let me go offer that suggestion. You know, if this isn't gonna work, I have a suggestion since I'm already here. I'm gonna do one lift. Why don't I go ahead in first? And as you back up and you get right here, I just swing you over. Okay, if this don't work, yeah. Yeah. I'm just getting too close. Yeah, very. You got that stupid sign right there on this side and then right here, you're boxed in. So I'm thinking I can just go ahead in and, and I'll swing you over. This is the final time. If this one doesn't work, then we're just going to uh, use Hulk. See, they clear back there. Come on. I know a lot of you guys that follow this uh, channel that are in the heavy haul industry I've been here before Good job! Watch the tank, okay? You're good! Go very slow! Crawl, crawl, crawl! Slow! You're good though! You're good! 
good. You got the hard part now, it's only gonna go up from here. Tanks are cleared. All right, my turn. Let's get Hulk ready. Getting it off the side's a no-go. Because of where it's stuck at, so. I'll just quickly back up to this baby. All right, high speed idle. And I'll get back to you when my lines are out. I was out for cutting it close. See why doing it off the side now would be impossible. Let's get my rigging, let's get my rigging. All right, game time. Time is money literally here. So I got my new Bailey's grommet slings, four foot. Okay. So I'm gonna just be in communication with that radio, okay? Okay. Towards me? Yeah. Of course. You know what, it sounds like one of my cables is high speed that's a no no let's see no let me check the other side all right no we're good so they want me to bring it to me first More? Good. That was how I got the back end completely airborne. Ready. Start rolling. rolling very slowly. Rolling very slowly. Not bad, not bad. Keep going. Much slower than that. Much slower than that. Good to go. You're good to go. Okay, going up. Okay, going up. That's pretty high up. Try from there. <laughs> okay. Hold it. Hold it. Let me extend out one more time. Okay. Very slowly. Very slowly. Stuck? stuck. Is she is she stuck? Yes. Yes. Very slowly. Very slowly. Okay. 
Okay, hold it. Hold it. Now I'm gonna back up and re-rig. Final worked absolutely phenomenal, man. Final worked great. Wow. Yeah. Wow, amazing. We're almost there. Let me just, just one more back up and we're good. By the way, since all the weights on the uh, rear outriggers, I got the two inch Dica pads right here. The big boys. is re-rigged and as you can see my truck is all the way up there we're almost there so I need that guy who's the guy with the walkie-talkie now that I'm here I can show you my new Bailey setup I got the four foot grommets things doubled up all right I'll let her know when to go okay Get some tension. Get on TikTok. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's try that, man, very slowly. I don't know if you can hear me. No? Yo. Ready? Hey. Okay, tell her very slowly, please. Yeah, slowly. Go, 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 go. Don't stop. I'm gonna follow her. Keep going. Keep going. Hold it. I'm almost at that line up there. Let's go cables in. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. My God. Our communication is key, man. I'm 
Now I gotta go in with this one more so it doesn't tip. Let's see how. Is this straight? This is straight, right? This is straight, right? Let me let it down now. Just hold the brakes. We're letting it down. Hold the brakes. Because I'm already at the cables right there. I got a few feet. I'm gonna let out with all the tension and see what that does. All right, I got no tension. Okay, have her go forward. See, see if it's still stuck. Go forward. We want to see if it's still stuck. I got no tension, bro. So. Yes. Yes. Slowly. Slow. Slowly. Now I can hear her spinning. We can hear you spinning. All right, let me back up again. We're gonna let me put some air put air some air. tension. Yeah. All right, so I had a re rig right here, as you can see. No shackle will fit right there, so on this thing was protected directly through the loops. That's why I love these things, man. Incredibly strong. I'm doing this because of those uh, power lines, and so I won't have to re rig no more. All right. Almost there, buddy. Okay, incredibly slowly, because this part's gonna be a doozy. Go. Very slowly, very, very slowly. All right, hold it. Let's hold it. How's it looking? Have her go forward. One foot. This is a test. One foot. I got no tension. We're going to see if she could go by herself. One foot. She's free. I'm good. Let's take off my rigging. Just give her a, yeah, yeah, tell her to wait. Good? I don't have to swing it, oh no, yeah, perfect. All right, yeah, ready, go. I got my rigging disconnected. Whoa. That is tight, man. Good job, driver. Other thing's giving me anxiety the way it's wibbly wobbly like that. Is it gonna fit? Yeah, it's all downhill from here, literally. Literally. <laughs> That was fun. Not ready for round two? <laughs> that day. Yes, sir. Guys, would you just look at that? I see your M100 and raise you this. some thick wire rope. I need to hook them up with some babies. Good job. We did it. Bro, this is the dream team right here. <laughs> you guys getting me right now? Here, here. here. Whoa, how's that for a spreader bar? Check out the cribbing. Look, see? A literal house. Knock knock. <laughs> we're, going, we're going out with this one. We can. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is because once this is offloaded, obviously you could only back up in case she bottoms out again. 
I'm going to be leaving my rig in here. See the gap on this thing? It's pretty wide and you want to live from both of them. So getting a single shackle, even my big 18 tons, is just a little too, is a little too wide. So I said, oh well, I'll just fit my Bailey's garments thing directly in. And let me pull it out. Bam. So if anything takes damage, it's just this nylon ballistic cover. Easily cheap to be replaced. The slingshot, not so much, but you take care of them, they'll take care of you. No problem. And then Hulk just waits there, I guess. They got the street clothes off anyway, so who cares? That way, in case uh, once empty, if she gets bottomed out again, I can... Now it'll be a lot easier to lift up the empty trailer and get it out of here. Alright, now that Hulk is pretty much in standby mode. In standby mode, we can take a look at what all the hoopla was about. Man, you guys think I'm kidding about when I said this is going to be a million dollars? Everyone knows that living over here is one of the most expensive in the country, but just Google Echo Park or this area of Los Angeles and see what even a basic two bedroom, one bath house goes for. Kick it. Uh. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Dang. All that fuss for this, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> what is this? Like someone's uh, storage shed? That, that's a house. So, so someone's gonna straight up live here? Storage shed? Come, come inside, come inside. Let me see. Let me, I gotta see this. Oh, dang, you got a full-on kitchen. I thought it was like a rich person's shed. It really is a house. Since this is LA County, what is this, like 4000 a month in rent? This is Silver Lake, baby. Solar? This is Silver Lake. Oh, Silver Lake. You know, I said Echo Park. This is Silver Lake. That just doubled the price. This is pretty cool. Yeah. No way you can say, yeah, I live in LA. Dang, and it's got central AC? Not central. Oh. Oh, yeah, I know. Why is this coming from the sun? It's cool. Throw a little kickback in here. Pour the shots. That's a nice bathroom too. You guys got down on this, man. Still, <laughs> you wouldn't catch me paying for this, but hey, welcome to LA, baby. All right, you guys got a sneak peek on the inside of one of these million dollar, I keep saying million dollar, but I mean, I wouldn't doubt if I'm close. Uh, homes. Silver Lake, which is actually adjacent to Echo Park, and I need to be on standby for them to do this part because uh, I'm gonna most likely have to winch this unit out in reverse once it gets stuck again. So that's gonna be a sight to see. You think my hardest job? These guys need such precision with the crane. There's like no room for air once it comes up. It has to be pr pretty straight. I can show you really quick what it looks like above me. They got one spreader bar, two spreader bars, three spreader bars. Man, imagine the listing for this thing. Newly built, single family home. 
new kitchen and appliances, full shower, walking distance to a school. <gasps> if you got the money, go for it, buddy. Then they're almost done prepping this thing. That's going to be a sight to see. And this is what I would call the moment of truth. They are just about done. The unit weighs just shy of 30,000 pounds. Looks like way more than adequate lifting power. Looks like they're gonna hug the unit since it's got no obvious lift points and just basket the whole thing. So I see that they have wood right there underneath. That's gonna act as a buffer so it doesn't crush the base it's on. So in our terms, this would be like the angle iron. close I got the back done so once they do that one we're done look I can barely right here fit uh, shoulder to shoulder let me show you yeah this is tight man I can barely fit shoulder to shoulder let me show you what that looks like boom That's cool. Well, once they're done here, man, this would have been so dope for the drone. Of course, I didn't bring it. So what I mean by that shoulder width part is there's like no room for air. So once it starts spinning one way, if they don't control it from the get go, that's going to hit. And here is the final resting place. Right now we have them at 15. Yeah. They already got all the trenches dug for the water plumbing. They're ready to go. Funny enough, this looks like a pool. Like they're building a pool, but it's a house. keep calling it a house but I mean it's not a mobile home right it's not a mobile home uh, they're gonna permanently attach it so I guess yes you'd consider it a house I know this guy's ready oh man it's the moment of truth lift off Something's caught, or I think the, the wood is coming off. I hear it. Pretty much almost got it. Up easy. Well, I'm 
down as high. It's moving. Up easy. Airborne. Why do you clear it's on the poop deck? She's airborne. I am impressed with how stable that thing is. <laughs> that is so sick. Okay, let's stand away from this house. Get that. Crazy. I wonder how easy it is to, uh, oh, 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 oh. Saying, I wonder how easy it is to swivel within that uh, grab hook all the way up top.
Lisa done with this part. That looks like he's booming down to get it away from that house right here. They got this, man. Got this. Yeah, I don't know if it's my angle, but it looks like the front end is hanging a bit if that's on purpose. But then again, spreader bars work best when you're dealing with an even load. Man, they got that tree on that side. The palm tree right there in the back. Okay, now that it's safe. Gotta get it in that foundation. Oh, this guy's good. Yeah, they'll get it. Incredible, man. See, I'm not the only one that has to deal with tight spaces and whatnot. gonna have to uh, cut it short right here the person I came for this trucker is about to back up all right looks like they got the front already on the foundation See how wide this is. They got inches to play with, man. It's got to be crazy precise. Oh. Hey, 
I think she's uh, backing up to close up the trailer. I think they got it this time, this should be it. Look, if you see right there, that's why they put that wood there. You see how the wood's cracking in the middle? It takes all the pressure and spreads the strap away from the house. Otherwise, that strap would go right through that house like butter. Touchdown. Success. God. Success? You brokered all this? Mm -hmm. That is cool. This company. So, all of this is their space too, like their backyard? Yeah, this is a private home. Awesome, man. Good Four job, corners. guys. Corners? Four corners? No, look at it. I made it, don't worry. <laughs> I, I trust them. Why don't you look at it? I trust them. You do that. <laughs> awesome job, guys. That was very tense. I said, Hobby, I reached that back. All right, my job here is done. I mean, no, it's not. All right, well, their job here is done. And I'll say, this is not my Let's go check on the driver now. Ready? Ready? All right. Excellent crane skills. This team did a fantastic job, man. Bragging rights confirmed. The job's not over. It's time to back up. Now with the trailer closed and it being empty, I don't see why if she just keeps it at a constant speed, it can't just rush out of here. All the way to the back of my truck. Not literally. But just in case, I'm still on standby. There she goes. stopped round two as easy as it might sound it's actually pretty I mean, that's really experience difficult to smash fast in reverse with the trailer Booyah! Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. 
stuck. <laughs> the beauty is I could just use my deck winch now. So, you know, I'll do that. All right, that was easy. We're just going to use a deck winch on this one. Because all I need to do is really just tug it. Change up my rigging slightly. Neutral or reverse, I mean, no brakes. Ready? Okay, let's go. Reverse it. Let's go. Woo! Five more feet, baby. Three, two. Can she rever uh, put it in reverse? Back up, please. Yeah, but no brakes, put it in reverse. Reverse. See, she had the brakes on. Now I don't have my winch brake on. Uh, it only works if we're in tandem. Oh, she's stuck right there. I see. She so just to turn the steering wheel to the right. I was wondering why the brakes were on. Okay, let's go. Okay, set the brakes. Good? Oh yeah. Let me get rid of this. All right. My slings. We'll go. There. Clear. Move the hulk up a ton. Now that they are free. Should be easy. Hold on for pedestrians. No way no. No? That's weird. All right, let me winch it again. Like another foot. Yeah, okay. All right, re rigged and threw the winch brake on. It should help. Ready? Okay, put it in reverse. No brakes. Murder she wrote. Now we're good. Still? Okay. Well, we're already there, so. What's wrong, the tank? Are your straps scraping on the tank? You're at the apex, you're at the top. Yeah, From yeah, here it's right at the top. Yeah. You're already I at the point of no you're at the point of no return. Yeah. But just throw it in neutral. Okay. 
but keep your foot over the brake so as soon as you, you feel it let go, hit it. Okay, let's go in. Okay, try to back up yourself one foot. Hold it, you're good. Oh, yay, yay. Good job, Oak. Let's get rid of this. All right. Just like that, we are free. Good job everybody. Now let's put my truck away and open up these streets. Alright, crane guys are happy. Putting away their big stuff. Driver's happy. She gets to go home. Now see if she bought this house, she'd be home already. Uh, peace out y'all.